to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. yesterday we promised them that we're going to talk about Sad Vegas today. I lied. I wanted to bring you in. We're not talking about Vegas at all. Get the hell out of here. Just joking. We are talking about Vegas. Look at that. I tricked them twice. That's a pretty that's a pretty hefty trick, Jonas. You tricked both of us. <laughs> you tricked I don't know what's happening no. anymore. <laughs> now you're like, I don't even know what we're doing. I'm so confused. I am talking about Sad Vegas. So I first, don't know what that means. What I will it, tell you is, in Okay, because I'm con- I was there. <laughs> you think I would know? Yeah, you will know when I talk about it. First off, mm-hmm. let's give the Harris review. Oh, the fabulous Harris Hotel and Casino. It in didn't Las look Vegas. any different from when I was there ten years ago. I stayed there. I don't mm-hmm. think it, I think it's the exact same as it was. Yeah, yeah. And what, what did you think about Harris, man? What did I think about Harris? Hum. It felt antiquated. It felt very, very dated in in its look. Um, like I said, the casino is a casino. It's, after spent, it's like it felt really new and fresh and like, wow, this is weird. You can just gamble in the lobby here. And like, it's, you know, there's like there's like little restaurants and like little bars that you can just go up to and like you can gamble there and they give you free drinks. And if you're just sitting at, you know, it was like a very foreign feeling when I first got there. But by day three, I was just like, this is insane. I'm like, this is just, <laughs> this place is it, it's it's old. It, it, it looks bad uh the gambling is i mean every machine is the same i don't know the flashing lights and and of a a slot machine just always kind of rub me the wrong way as far as the hotel itself um we didn't really interact with the staff too much Uh, jonas did jonas will have a much more uh you had a, a, a worse experience than i did um they didn't they didn't change our sheets let's talk about that jonas yeah 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 we'll talk about that how do you feel about that well first off Every time I called the the, uh, the the thing, they they called me by uh, TNT's last name. <laughs> they did. They're like, hello, last name, and they I'm did. just like, what? They're like, hello, dynamite. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, that's what? what they would say, hello, dynamite, and I'm like, that's not my okay. Name. Anyways, so my last name. So like, when we checked in, they specifically asked us, "Do you want room service to come every day?" Or do you want them? Do you want to call down to have them come? And I was yeah. like, oh, just, I was like, just have them come every day. Yeah, to help to give us new towels, trash, new towels, like all the yeah, whole deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first day, they did they come the first night? Thursday? Th- no, they, they didn't. They, they they didn't come the first night. The next day, okay. so I called down and I was like, hey, they didn't come clean our room. Can you have them at least bring some towels up? Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we'll bring some towels, some fresh towels up. Mm-hmm. So they brought up the fresh towels. They're like, do you want us to have them clean the room? And I'm like, that's fine. Just have them do it tomorrow. Can you please make sure they come tomorrow? So they brought the towels. The next day, they didn't come again. So I, so I called again and was like, and they are like, hey, Dynamite. And I was like, hey. Um, so I called, and you guys were supposed to come <laughs> like, hey. and clean the room. Yeah. And you didn't. And they're like, oh, so sorry, Dynamite. And I was like... <laughs> They're like, do you want us to come tonight? And I was like, no, I don't want you to come now. I go, just, I'm like, can you? No, I actually called before we left. And was like, we're leaving the room. You can come anytime. That's what happened on that day. And they never came. We got back. They hadn't come. So uh, then I called the next day and was like, hey, y'all haven't came and cleaned the room. And they're like, aren't you leaving tomorrow? (laughs) I was like, (laughs) like, you can live another day. I I was like. Yes. Yeah. So then, needless to say, they didn't come again. We nope. had we ended up having enough clean towels to get through. I think we had them bring towels again. We had just enough. Yeah, they brought towels. Ta- we had them bring towels again. I think. Oh, uh, we had a uh, so yeah, that, that was definitely an experience. Uh, and we, we had like four days worth of trash just yeah, piled up in the yeah. corner because like we had to eat out for everything. Yeah. So like there was just it, the it was just the room was full of trash. They didn't come and like change. I, I mean, I tell you is that I swear to God, I think they try to make your hotel room as unpleasant as possible because they don't want you in there. They don't want you in the hotel rooms. No, they don't. They want so you in the casino. When it comes to things like 
cleanliness of the room that comes second. Doesn't come too. I mean, late. it was clean when we got in there. They, we, we granted we had just barely enough towels. It's almost like they were rationed off to us, like we're in a communist towel anarchy or a society or something. But even down to like the view that we had. Oh my god, we had a si- <laughs> we had city view. I forgot so about that. When we get there, they actually tried to give us a different room. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, oh, you have a nice view of the pool. And I was like, I booked a city view room. And they're like, did you? And I was like, oh, no. Because the city view room was a specific thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, that works. So they're like, oh, we, she had to call and finagle. And <laughs> Little like, did we know that that might have been the worst <laughs> mistake that was made about the room procurement that we had. We had a chance to have a view of the pool. I don't know what floor. The pool's very small. It was I'm, like four floors higher. Look, I might have saw an ass cheek. Maybe. So we get to the room and it's three parking decks. Literally parking decks. Yeah, that's <laughs> three the of city them. view. We did get to see the big ass sphere yeah. dome though. Which we is did. surrounded by parking decks, and I think that's how they how they rationed it off. <laughs> it was on the other side of the decks. Yeah. So we got to see the sphere from our room, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. I <laughs> by the way has ads on it. Yeah. So we're <laughs> we're referring to the MSG sphere. Um it's the new I guess it's a new stadium that they build, which is like a a giant snow globe. Picture a giant snow globe Video made screens. of made of LED lights. So it's just like it's just like 360 degrees of just like ad space. Yeah, I mean they had patterns like that NFL That's, logos. They uh, had they turned it, into an eye and it, it rippled. Had screensavers. <laughs> You good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm losing my mind over here. I'm coughing. Right. It was like screensavers. There's like water droplets and lightning strikes and stuff like that. It was like seriously like a uh, window screensavers from 10, 15 years ago. It was the thing's an eyesore. It is. And then when it comes to the advertisements, when they're trying to get NFL ticket, and I, I shouldn't even said the name because now we advertised it. I mean, but they're trying to sell us <laughs> tickets to that, or they're trying to sell us the your U two concert. It's like why I don't want to go and see you. T- Actually, I do. I have to admit that I did not realize that the MSG Spear was a stadium at first, and the fact that they're going to actually have shows there and concerts. And the inside of it's going to be the same thing. The whole ceiling yeah. is going to be an interactive so I, thing. I, yeah, I have to admit that having a well put together like light show like that at a place because they're going to utilize that. Right, right. But on the same note, if something fucks up, you're going to see that too. It's no, no, for sure, day. for sure. And then we did get to see half of the Ferris wheel. Yes. Yeah, so that was really cool. So that we was got the to city see three view. parking decks, the big eyesore globe that offered us to try to get us to buy tickets to things, and a old rickety Ferris wheel. It wasn't rickety, but it moved really slow, bro. That thing. It, okay, it wasn't rickety, but I guess there yeah. was lights. It was old. Yeah, that thing and was the beds ancient. were hard. Yeah, the beds were like, oh, bro. Mm. Mm. So I'm very sensitive when it comes to my bed. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like maybe like ten years ago, I think I've had my bed for about ten years now. I purchased a a memory foam mattress that took me a month and a half to settle. I I put my ass on over a hundred mattresses before I settled on the one that I had. And I shouldn't say settle, but I decided on it. I I love you. I'm talking to my bed. Oh, that's nice. It's either it's either my bed or my mom. I'm sorry. Hey, Drake. So that is a reference. You get you pulled a me. That's a, that's a ten year old song. <laughs> All right, but uh, either way, it's like I had that was probably the worst part of it for me is the fact that the bed sucks so bad and I would wake up like with literal back pains. I've never had. I mean, I've had that when I've stayed at hotels before, but the fact we stayed four days and four days at that hotel, it was. just Well, yeah, unbearable. the first night you were talking about and I was like, what are you talking about? The second day I woke up and I was like, God damn, my back hurts, too. <laughs> See, I had to like stretch out and, and stuff. That, and it's if it started to affect you, then you can. And I swear that's why they do it, man. They don't want you in those rooms. They want you out there on the floor. The beds aren't comfortable. No. Yeah. Why would the bed be comfortable? You only need to spend six hours on that. Get back out there and gamble. Yeah, you're not wrong. We didn't even get to talk about Sad Vegas. What's the sad part? We're still here. If you walk around a casino. Oh. (laughs) Yes, come on. Let me get into a fucking dude. Let's go. It's very sad. It's a sad. Why is it sad, Jonas? Because you just see a bunch of people isolated at machines. All of them look downtrodden. And they're just like. 
Push a button. Push the button. Push a button. Push the button. Smoke a cigarette. Yep. Push a button. Yep. Drink a drink. Yep. Old ladies. Yep. Big old fat dudes, skinny dudes. Yep. Just, just uh, unkempt. Just yep. sitting it in front of like yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. Just push a button. Push the button. Just. And they're all just so and like they're there though there's ones where like there'll be like an old lady and like her like partner will be like sitting in a like a little chair next to her while she's pushing a button. And yeah, I'm just yeah, like yeah. that's sad in a whole different way. Right? It, there's a lot of sadness in there. It does give that that kind of uh that kind of appeal, man. It's just like a lot of people just drinking, pushing buttons. And you didn't really push a lot of buttons. I pushed a couple. No. But even when I was pushing buttons, I was just like looking at this machine like, what am I doing with myself? I was thinking about it. Like if I wouldn't have done the button pushing that I'd done, I may have like broke even. Because like most of the money that I lost, like when I like I was thinking of how much I was down, it was just money that I threw into like a slot machine screwing around. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's like 20 bucks at the bar for video poker, mm -hmm. 10 bucks in this machine to, to do something stupid. Like I'm like, that adds up quick. And I'm like, man, I could have like not done. I mean, it was yeah. fine. I mean, I got some free drinks or whatever, you know. But right. anyway, wait, look, look, look. If you made it this far in the episode, you get to find out, Jonas. How much are you down? I, I was down about a hundred bucks total. I lost four hundred. Hey, I mean, that's not bad for Vegas. Don't play craps. Don't don't play expensive craps. In fact, just don't go to Vegas, man. Just don't go. Go somewhere. Go go somewhere nicer. <laughs> it's fun, but it, you know, come on. Look on the next one. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.